Hi, my awesome friends. Today I am participating in a blue and white challenge. And it's not just any blue and white challenge, but it's called Chinosri. And I'll talk to you more about that as we go along in the video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So, um, you know, I had to think about what items do I have that are blue and white? And I had all these different um, options. And so let's dive in and see what each item is. So my centerpiece, so pretty. So that is a uh, Chinosri um, vase and it is a little bit different than some of the other ones because it has the blue background and that blue is gorgeous it's cobalt blue i believe but i love the design of the flowers um, and how um, the vines come off of it it's just really really pretty and so um, I had to incorporate, of course, blue and white flowers in this, and that's actually a ginger, um, a ginger jar, but I'm using it as a vase today. And here's my florals, and I am not a flower person. Uh, my mom, Grandma Sandy, is the one who does all the flower arrangements, however, um, we were not able to uh, get together, so I was on my own to make my own flower arrangement. I had a picture um, that I saw that I really liked, and I was trying to replicate it, and I think I did okay. I don't know. You tell me in the comments if you thought I did okay. Um, again, I'm not a flower arranger, so, but I just love this ginger jar, and I'm going to sneak in the lid to it because it is absolutely gorgeous and here is the lid isn't that beautiful i just love it but it didn't fit anywhere on my table so i left it off but that's what goes on top if i didn't have flowers in it all right so and i have this um jar flower flower arrangement on sitting on a pedestal and these are actually I have three of them they're nesting boxes and um, they're actually this lady I got from um, this lady that I met that um, had a floral shop um, she used those for um, flower arranging and so I, I love the color combination so I, I picked those up from her and then in the back if you can see there is some fans, Oriental fans, and they've got that blue and white, and I fell in love with this pattern. Um, I got these from Oriental Trading Company. So um, that was my main um, color scheme that I wanted to go with, with some um, light blues and dark blues. So I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? So coming down here in the middle, I have my um, gold, I have my gold, um, what do you call those things? Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> the mercury glass um, candle holders. They're so pretty, especially when you have the tea lights inside them all lit up. And then I have this cute tray that I got from Tuesday morning and look at the design inside there so pretty so of course i just put my teapot and creamer and sugar set now i attempted i don't know if i did a good job but i attempted to decoupage a napkin with that blue and white flower looks so pretty um, it's a little dull because I did not use the correct Mod Podge because I only had the matte finish instead of the glossy. So I think it would have been better with the glossy, but I think it, I think I did pretty good. And then I put a little tiny picture just on the front here. So I guess from far away it doesn't look too bad, but when you get very close, it 
it's not as that great. And then I made these cute little, um, I forgot to hot glue this one, darn it. Anyways, I had this little heart and on the back side it has um, a McKinsey Child's print. And so I just put that same um, pattern that you see in the fans on here. And then I was supposed to put a little dab of hot glue on that one and I forgot. So anyways, I just wanted to put that on my tray so my tray would be nice and full. So now let's go on this side and here I have another, um, it's a smaller little jar, I guess. I don't know if you'd call it a ginger jar because of the shape of it, but maybe a vase. Okay, so, and this is also sitting on one of those cute little um, boxes, like a hat box, I guess you could say. And then in the back, I have this really pretty bowl and I've had it um, for quite some time. Um, it is really pretty and let me see if I can, let's see if I can turn it so you can see the design. So pretty. And then of course inside is really pretty. So I've had that one for quite a while. I don't know if maybe I picked it up at a thrift store um, some years back and totally forgot I had it I don't I don't know <laughs> and right here in the front is a DIY I did and um, these are oyster shells and I saw this on Pinterest I believe and I thought oh I want to try to replicate that so um, I did I think I did pretty good and I'll have a DIY video um, posting tomorrow how I did it and then those are just some um, blue glasses or little bowls that I have inverted um, to act as little risers for my oyster shells. And then over here, well, let's go this way so I can go to this side. And in the back, I have this beautiful white and gold trimmed bowl. I absolutely love that and it goes really well with everything I have on the table today. Now here's another ginger jar. This one is beautiful as well. I love these flowers. And that one also has that gold um, pointed top like the other one does. And it's also sitting on a hat box. I just wanted to read to you on this little tag that came with one of these. It says, um, Chinosery. It's shaped and painted entirely by hand in centuries old tradition of Chinosery blue and white wares. So that's all it means. It's just a fancy word for blue and white, I guess. <laughs> So before we continue, I just wanted to take a moment to um, talk about the challenge. Again, this is a blue and white chinosery, and we have three lovely hosts today. The first one is Ellen from Glamour Ellen, Danielle from Domestic Scientist, and Inn from Luxury Living Within. And as you can see, we have a whole host of co-hostesses and by the pictures showing on the invitation so please go over and check out their page i have listed all of their channels in my description box you don't want to miss how they set their blue and white table now let's get back to my table all right so then coming down here um, if you watched my video on my um, epic haul of teapots, this was included. And I was thinking, how am I going to use this? Because I don't really have a lot of items to um, pair with it. Well, now I do. <laughs> and here's the time to use it. Isn't that cute? And I can't tell you how much it was because I got the whole lot of... Um, uh, teapots for I don't even remember what the price was it was not very expensive at all and then I just have two little cups here um, I don't have any little cups that go with that so I'm gonna be on the hunt for that so I'll have something to um, pair with that next time all right so let's see 
my table um, dishware. All right, so this is my table setting. I'm really happy with um, what it, how it turned out. And um, so let me go through and show you um, what each individual item is. Okay, starting with the charger, you have seen this before. Um, I've used this in previous posts. Um, I just love the color of it. And you know, at first I was thinking, I don't wanna mix silver and gold together, but it's okay, it, it's, you can do that. So um, I decided, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Um, and then here's that um, beaded charger, no, charger placemat. Um, so I wanted to have some blue in the, in the placement as well. So you've seen that before. If you haven't, you're missing some of these videos. So you guys got to go back and check it out. But look at how beautiful that is. It's all beaded. It's gorgeous. All right. So then the next thing is my plates. And again, you've seen these before. I use them a lot because I just uh, love them. So they're so pretty. All right, I'm trying to get out of the shadow here. So the next item is what I found at um, the secondhand store. And I was so happy when I found this. Look at how pretty that is. I love the flowers in this. Okay, so that's the next. Um, setting and then I have these really pretty plates that I got at Tuesday morning and I actually had gotten some other plates um, but it my idea didn't work out so um, I have these plates on top of here but I wanted to add my little napkin here and here's the napkin um, it has a touch of yellow in it, which really doesn't, you know, it, it kind of goes, but then it doesn't, but I really just love the flowers in it. So I decided to go ahead and keep it in my um, place setting here. And then I found this bowl at the thrift store as well. And it isn't the same pattern as the other one, but it's very similar and I thought, um, it would be okay to use and this is a bowl So I put that on top So what do you guys think that looks pretty good together? And then over here I have um, Just a little cup iridescent cup and then I have my wine glass which is in blue and then I have my um, tea cup, but I have this cute little um it's a cocktail napkin and it's so pretty. And um, I'm thinking about framing these because the, the artwork on it is just really beautiful. So I'm gonna, I'm on the hunt for a little frame so I can put them in. I have four of them, but I've only used two on the table today. So I thought that would be a good, um, nice thing to put over the teacup. Because if you remember in a previous video, I said, when you're doing tea, and I'll show you. You're supposed to have this little napkin underneath and then you put your cup on top. This is the traditional English way so that if you had a spill um, when you lifted the cup to take a drink you wouldn't get tea all over your beautiful dress that you were wearing and um, because the, all the liquid would remain on the little um, napkin. So that's the whole point of um, why I did what I just did. But I like it on the top so you can see the design. So when you first sit down at table, you have your cup like this. And then when you're ready to have tea, you put the napkin underneath the cup. So that's just a little tidbit there for you guys. <laughs> um, so both, again, um, the place settings are exactly the same on both sides. Now you know me, I always give you a second option for your table setting. So here it is. I have this cute little napkin and I used this um, little napkin holder. I thought it would go nice with the little um, item here on the heart. But not only that, but I've added an extra table, an extra 
um, plate. And look at here. And I decoupage this on a white plate that I got from the Dollar Tree. So you could add it here like this, or my thought was to remove that plate, that bottom plate altogether and put this one on top because I love the contrast of that together. And then you could put your plate, I mean your bowl back if you wanted, or you could just simply leave your plate and add your napkin. So there you go. There is your second, third, fourth option, I guess you could say. So again, you guys tell me which one is your favorite. Um, I uh, really love how this turned out. I know it has some creases in it, but that always happens when you use a napkin with Mod Podge. But I think overall it turned out really good. And I'm very happy with how that turned out. So you guys tell me in the comments, which is your favorite. And I did just want to take a moment just to talk about my um, picture here. I got this on Amazon and it came in a set of six, I believe. And I gave my mom three and I kept three. And um, I found this little frame. I had another one, but it didn't fit on that wall. It was way too small. So this was the perfect size for that wall. So coming back over here and I'll just back up so you guys can get a better overall view of how the whole table came together. I forgot to mention my runner. Look at how pretty it is. And it's got these cute little tassels. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So I hope you guys like it. I totally forgot to talk about it, but this came from Tuesday morning and it's beautiful and it's big. I, I love everything. I just think it's gorgeous. Let me take one of these fans out so you can see how pretty they are. And I debated about putting one right here in the front. What do you guys think? But look at it, it's so pretty. I love the design. So, um, and it's been pretty hot. So this, that little fan is gonna come in handy today. <laughs> All right, well, if you guys have uh, been on the fence about joining my channel, I hope this um, inspires you um, to come on over and join me and um, I'm just hoping to get a little bit more subscribers to help me out give me a big thumbs up and I do appreciate the um, subscribers that have been there supportive and um, watch all of my videos and give me lovely comments I do appreciate that so again thank you for stopping by and seeing my blue and white chinosuri table have an awesome day, you guys.